Greetings. Now, if you're ever reading the Bible, you might notice there's a lot of names. Not only that, there's a variety of names, some ranging from pretty normal to some a bit stranger. Now, ones like David, Samuel, and Hannah might seem pretty common, you know. You might, even if you haven't read the Bible, even if you didn't know it's in there, these names seem pretty common and are familiar to you on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, they get they start to get a bit stranger. Ones like Abraham, Jesus, which is actually just a taking on Joshua, which would have been Yehoshua in Hebrew, and Delilah. Now, chances are you've heard these names. There, some characters in history have these names, but. They might seem just a bit more strange. Well, then they get weirder. And you get names like Zebulun, Issachar, and Dinah. Now, you might start having trouble figuring out what gender the person is. Because they're not really common names. Uh, Zebulun is a man's name. Issachar is a man's name. And Dinah is a woman's name. Now, one guy, Jacob, named his children named three of his children those names. So this is just one guy named his children with these weird names you might have never heard of. But you might think, maybe in their culture that's normal and surely the names can't get any weirder than this. Well yes, they can. Welcome to my video with five weird and long names in the Bible. They're gonna get a lot weirder. So, hopefully by the end of this video and you're pronouncing these names, you're going to be turning some heads and people are going to be looking at you like you're some kind of lunatic because you're just throwing out gobbledygook. Good luck, and yes, like and subscribe. It's great help, please, and watch the video. Thank you. This first name you're probably familiar with if you watch this channel because I named one of my golems it. It's a name I like throwing around, and this name is Zathanath Paniya. Yes, Zathanath Paniya. Did you get that one right? It is a rather strange name at first. Now, this guy actually has another name, which is Joseph. Yes, much more regular name. Joseph went down to Egypt, and the pharaoh named him Zathanath Paniya, because the guy just seemingly didn't have a cool enough name. If you had trouble with the first name, well, you're not gonna like this one. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. That's right. Somebody woke up one day and had a son, and they looked at that thing and they says, I'm gonna name that thing Nebuchadnezzar. This guy is considered the greatest Neo-Babylonian king, so he's pretty important, and you might have heard of him, even if you haven't read the Bible. But, his name's thrown around a lot, I guess. Now, uh, this, this king is the one who destroyed Jerusalem, and started the Jewish exile in Babylon. So, if you're naming your child Nebuchadnezzar, it's probably not a good look. The third name, Mahil Shalal Hashbaz. Mahil Shalal Hashbaz. This is the longest name in the Bible, and by far the weirdest. This name means, in making speed to spoil, he hastens the prey, and it's alluding to the destruction of Syria and Israel by the Assyrian Empire. So, the guy's father, who was a prophet, literally named their son a prophecy. So, Mahir Shalal Hashbaz is literally a prophecy. This fourth name is pretty weird. Kushan Rishathaim. Kushan Rishathaim. Now, you might be thinking, why is this one so weird compared to the other ones? Well, you see, this guy is king of Aram Naharaim. Aram Naharaim. Even this guy's state is a weird name. And he was the first oppressor of Israel and was defeated by Othaniel after eight years. So, if you're going around saying Kushan Rishathaim, you can say he was the king of Aram, Aram Naharaim, and was defeated by Othaniel, and people are going to really look at you as some kind of nutcase who broke out of an asylum, 
and are using some very strange names, but some kings actually had these names and ran a state called Ah Aram Naharayim. Why can't we have names like this now? Our fifth and final name is Methilbosheth. Methilbosheth. Yes, Methilbosheth sounds like I'm spitting some kind of evil curse. While it might not be as impressive as other names like Mahil Shalal Hashbaz, it is a pain in the butt because I've had to record this thing many times just to get Methil Bosheth, the pr proper pronunciation, each time because at this point I can't pronounce anything properly. Methil Bosheth is the son of Jonathan, who was the son of Saul. Or if you want to be complicated, Saul. Saul was the first king of Israel, which makes Meshil Bosheth, Me Me Methil Bosheth. The, the grandson of the first king of Israel. He couldn't walk properly because he was dropped as a child and had to be cared for by King David, who was the second king of Israel. So if you want to turn some heads, you get to pronounce these funny, weird names which are making my tongue want to fall out. Finally, if you have made it to the end of this video, th thank God you have reached here because I am going to make my life hell by pronouncing all of these names Zathanath Kaniya, Nebuchadnezzar, Mehil Shalal Hashbaz, Kushan Rishathayim, and Methil Bosheth. I, I did that first try, thank God, thank God. These names work, I just tested them on somebody and they thought I was an escapee of a mental asylum. So if you go around using these names, people are going to think you're a nutcase and they're going to turn their head and look at you really weird, so I recommend using these in public, definitely. Um, thank you for watching to the end of this video, and if you like this kind of video, I can do more, which is basically just me suffering, but my plan was just to do a fun video to get a video in this month. And I'm probably going to make another video later on just talking about my channel. So thank you for watching. Once again, please like and subscribe. I sound like the cringe genius key at this point. But really, I appreciate it so much. And to those who have recently liked and subscribed to this channel, thank you for doing so. And goodbye.